Hello, dear friends. Today we are going to learn a comedy drama film called Yes, God, Yes from 2019. I wish you a good viewing. The fall of 2000, Alice is a curious but inexperienced high school student in a Catholic school in the Central West. Her strict teacher, Mrs. Veda, makes sure that all the students look perfect. Alice is quite sweet and curious about everything, which is quite normal for her age. Father Murphy teaches them that any bad behavior that is not aimed at having children in marriage is a sin. He also says that doing something just for fun is also a sin. This makes Alice feel embarrassed about her growing feelings. After school, Alice goes home, eats a snack, hugs her dog, and gets on the computer. She opens a chat site and receives an email from someone containing adult images. At first she is shocked and turns off the screen, but curiosity gets the better of her and she starts looking at the images. Later, the guy texts her asking for her age, gender, and location. Alice thinks for a while and answers that she is 22 years old and from Iowa. Then he asks for a photo of her. A little scared, Alice sends him a picture of her friend. He sees the photo and says she is beautiful, and they start flirting. He sends her another photo and asks her if she touches herself now. Curious, Alice does, and feels something new for herself. Just then, her mom comes home and calls her for dinner. Alice quickly turns off the computer and runs to the kitchen, relieved to know that she hasn't been caught in the act. The next Monday, while Alice and Laura are eating lunch at school, a classmate named Beth approaches them. She says that she can't believe Alice did something bad to Wade at Laura's party, and mentions that everyone is talking about it. Alice denies it, and admits that she doesn't even know what it means. After Beth tells them about her spiritual journey last weekend, she joins them for lunch. At this point, Alice takes out a chocolate wrapper and starts licking it. The guys at the next table laugh, thinking of something dirty. Heather and Wade approach Alice and call her disgusting. Mrs. Veda overhears the gossip and tells Alice that she will no longer be able to serve at Mass. Later, Alice confesses her petty sins to Father Murphy and is given a light penance of 20 prayers, which she quickly performs in the school chapel. The words of Father Murphy and Mrs. Veda about the prohibition of pleasure echo in the girl's mind. Alice and Laura decide to attend the school's religious retreat. Alice wants to get back on the path of righteousness, and Laura wants to be popular. When they arrive at the camp, Laura is happy to see that Nina is one of the leaders of the retreat. Meanwhile, Alice notices Chris, a handsome high school student and soccer player who is also a camper. Alice is assigned to Nina's group and follows her to their rooms. While showing Alice to her room, Nina asks her to hand over her phone and watch, if she has one. Alice gives only her watch, hiding her phone. In the next scene, Alice participates in a meeting in the hall, where Father Murphy tells them that they have been called by God for this vacation, and adds that it could be a life-changing experience for them. Chris is friendly, and enthusiastically starts talking to Alice when she is assigned to his group. Father Murphy passes out questionnaires, asking the students about the emotions they have experienced over the past year. Alice circles all of her feelings, including contentment, which probably wasn't her best choice. When the time is up, she tries to erase the circle around the word satisfaction, but can't, so she crosses it out with a pencil before handing in the questionnaire. Later, Nina gives a very emotional speech about how she felt ignored by her family. Everyone gathers around her and gives her a warm hug. That night, while playing with her forbidden phone, Alice accidentally discovers that she can have fun with one feature of the phone. However, she quickly stops when she notices a painting hanging in her room. On the second day of vacation, all the students go on a hike in the forest. After Alice sees Chris helping a girl who has tripped over a rock, Alice also fakes an injury to get closer to him. She feels really good when Chris picks her up and takes her to the nurse. Later, when Alice is in her room, Nina comes in and asks if she is okay. Meanwhile, Alyssa's phone vibrates, and Nina confiscates it. Nina then tells Father Murphy that Alice was hiding the phone, and as a punishment, Father Murphy assigns Alice to clean the rest home. Alice immediately starts cleaning. While cleaning, she notices a computer in Father Murphy's room. As soon as she's alone, she chats with him to find out what a certain adult expression means. But before she can learn anything, the sound of footsteps makes her quickly turn off the computer and leave. She confronts Nina, who jokingly alludes to Alice's alleged meeting with Wade. Nina adds that she is not angry with Alice for hiding her phone and that she is on the right path to change. That night, Father Murphy reads the letters sent by the student's family members to everyone. After reading the letters, everyone becomes very emotional. On the third day of the retreat, Chris encourages his group members to confess their sins, if any. Confessions help everyone to clear their heads and focus. Everyone shares their sad stories, but Alice has nothing worth confessing, so she makes up a story about the death of her dog. Later, when everyone is in the dining hall, Father Murphy announces the discovery of an adult chat room on his computer and asks the unknown offender to take responsibility. He adds that God is watching and will punish those responsible. Alice is a little scared listening to this, but still does not confess to her actions. In the next scene, we see the students standing in line in front of Father Murphy's office. Alice enters his office, where Father Murphy asks her about her relationship with God. 
she replies that everything is fine. At this point, Murphy asks about her penciling in the word satisfaction on the questionnaire and if she still feels that way. Alice replies that she used to feel that way, but not anymore. Later, he insists that Alice confess her sins, but she says that everything is fine, even though Father Murphy does not believe it. While Alice is cleaning the dining room, Wade comes in and throws the trash around. Alice scolds him for his sloppy behavior and for not denying the rumors that have been circulating. Then Father Murphy appears and takes Wade away. Wade leaves without admitting his guilt or apologizing. While cleaning up, Alice sees Nina kissing and doing something forbidden with another high school student in the nearby woods. Alice is shocked by what she sees, but begins to fantasize about it. She almost gets into trouble when she could have been caught. Alice shares what she has seen with Laura, but she refuses to believe her because Nina is her idol. Laura accuses Alice of sneaking into Father Murphy's office and ends their friendship by calling Alice bad names. Later, Alice returns to Father Murphy's office and frames Wade for hacking into the computer by planting his bracelet under the keyboard. When she hears Father Murphy approaching, she hides in the back room. There, she sees Father Murphy doing something forbidden, watching a video that was saved on his computer. Disgusted, she closes her eyes and turns away. On the street, she meets Chris, who asks if she's okay and insists on talking to her to make her feel better. Left alone with him, Alice kisses Chris, but he becomes confused and runs away. That night, Alice is alone and secretly sneaks out of the camp while everyone is singing. She comes across a bar where she meets the owner, Gina, and they talk about how the fear of the curse can distort adolescent development. Alice asks Gina why people hide behind false identities, trying to impress others and hide their true selves. She admits that she is afraid to explore her desires or make small mistakes for fear of going to hell. Gina gives her advice, explaining that she also attended a strict Catholic school and understands what Alice is going through. They talk for a while, which improves Alice's mood. Later, Gina gives Alice a ride back to the camp and advises her to think about changing colleges. On the last day of camp, Alice meets a shy student while Father Murphy is talking to Wade. Laura reconciles with Alice after Wade is arrested for indecent exposure when his bracelet is found near his computer. Laura also tells Alice that Wade likes boys and made up rumors about Alice to hide his true orientation. During the group session, Wade asks God to forgive him for his actions. Alice then gives a speech, saying that everyone has something hidden and encourages everyone to treat each other with honesty and respect, just as Jesus did. She tells them to accept themselves and enjoy life. Back at the school, Alice supports Chris, who still feels awkward, saying they can stay just friends. During a meeting with Father Murphy, Alice admits that she has been watching adult videos while on vacation and has also seen him watching it too. They both realize that this will have consequences, but do not discuss them. Father Murphy gives her a penance to do 100 prayers. When Alice returns home, she watches a tape of the movie Titanic and rewinds the movie to her favorite romantic scene with Jack and Rose. She tries to have fun watching this scene, and she is happy about it. 